Hey, hey, y'all. It's your good sis, Erica Vane, back with another sister's video. And in this video, as you can tell by the title, I'm breaking down the preview to episode eight. Let's talk about it. Child, we see in this preview that Fatima's like, oh, heck no. She heard sex sounds coming out the bathroom in Andy's room. It's Gary and some other woman, something in that thing. And she immediately gets on the phone, as she should, and calls Andy like, girl, come home and change. She ain't, she ain't said over the phone so that she don't stress her out. But she said, come home and change. You need to come home now. Like, this needs to happen now. Bring your behind. Let's go, sis. And she stays there to support her in it, too, which is what we love to see. That's what I'm talking about, Fatima. Fatima is definitely a real one. She's a, a really great support system and a friend. So while the girls are having issues with making her an official sister and how she fits into the group because of the whole Zach, Karen, and Fatima thing, I definitely think that once they work all that out, once we figure out where Zach is going to be, where he want to be, all that good stuff. Shout out to Donnell Jones, where I want. Anyway, once we figured that out, Fatima's going to fit into this friend circle beautifully. She's a real chick. And I think that they need a lot of the realness that she brings the honesty that she brings the energy that she brings in their group because they be pacifying each other a little bit too much for me sabrina she just she placates to too much she enables too much which is probably why she's in the predicament that she's in right now she's sitting at the bar drinking now that jacoby has threatened that she has sexually assaulted him and used sex as a way to try to position him in, in reference to their job. And that was the reason why she fired him because he decided not to have sex with her anymore. And it's completely lying out his utterly ridiculous face. But yeah, I think that they definitely, they aren't honest enough with each other. They aren't real enough. Like there are moments where they're definitely real, but I think Fatima is going to bring a certain energy that's going to allow for it to, to just take it up a notch. And I'm looking forward to that. Once Andy gets there, she hears and busts in. It's probably going to be wind up being something trivial, y'all. I know somebody posted in the comment section of the breakdown video or the preview I did for episode seven and said, oh, it's probably porn. I could totally see that. He might be in there watching porn and doing his little thing. And he's doing that because him and Andy have not had sex in a while. I don't know how long because, you know, this time that they be going on, it be moving slow, then it be moving fast. Sometimes they be three episodes be one day and the next thing you know, one episode be a week. So you don't necessarily know how long it's been since they had sex. But I definitely think that he might not actually be cheating in that room, but he's just doing something else because we also see in this preview that Andy ends up going to dinner with the other lawyer, the opposing counsel. And she seems like she's fine. She seems like she got it together. And Andy is way too emotional to walk in on Gary cheating on her and then be able to pull it together that same night and go and handle business. Our Andy don't work like that. Our Andy is a little bit overly emotional, a little bit unstable, a little bit just too invested in Gary to be able to function. Now, when we pick up and see Sabrina at the bar, she's early for dinner or drinks with the girls. And that's where this little other little light skinned yo pops up and she starts to like pique his interest have a conversation with him i have no idea where this guy came from i'm gonna take a little bit of time i'm gonna do a little bit of research and figure out what's going on here sabrina can't handle no more men no more men needs to enter sabrina's life until she figures out what she's about to do about jacoby and what she's about to do about calvin i've had it with sabrina i've had it with the drama that's completely unnecessary a lot of the stuff that she's in right now is of her own making she knows daggone well she should have never crossed the line with jacoby and i don't even know if she ever really wanted to cross the line with Jacoby so I don't even know why she went there to begin with but she did and now we're here Jacoby is a gump and he been a gump and now he about to cause gump problems and she got to figure her way out of it so no sis you do not get to smile kiki throw up any type of little flirtation or nothing towards any other man until you settle whatever's going on at home first handle it because we're not doing this with you but he fine though he is fine and then we get to see Fatima enact her plan with her little thirsty random wannabe ruining Zach's life because he really want Fatima but Fatima don't don't want him behind boy i can't it's the men like that that just make it so bad for y'all because the thirst the thirst the dusty the crustiness of it all it's the raggedy for me oh i'm praying that fatima got the biggest bestest plan to out and embarrass this man and to make sure that he is never able to come for zach again because it is definitely his fault that zach is moved to the bottom of the list for these house projects that they've been working on and it's getting looked over and and we have had enough 
we have had enough. Even though I don't know how it's going to work for Tammy. You told him to come to the house at 830 and you told Zach to come at the house at 830. So Zach about to arrive and see you sitting here enacting your plan. He probably going to jump to the conclusion because his mind is off. He he discombobulated. He just lost $20,000. He just lost his other job. He is stressed. You know, he got a lot of things going on. So he's definitely coming in hot and he's going to jump to conclusions. But sis, please have grace. Please have patience because Zach is a real one. Okay. And this does look a little bit fishy, but make sure that you explain very quickly. Use small words and explain very quickly. And then we also get the reveal that Gary's ex-wife is now suing everybody, is threatening Andy and Gary, but is naming everybody in this suit and pressure charges against everybody and child. I want to see how she's going to try to pull this off because since you have been the terrorist, you have been the minister to society, you have been the actual attempted murderess. Girl, I cannot. But y'all, that is my preview to episode eight of season three, Sisters. I will be back with a, a full breakdown and a predictions video. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss when I upload. If you missed any of my sister's coverage so far, I have my sister's playlist link for you right here. Check it out as well as two other series that you could watch if you're interested. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.